so good to see all of you out tonight to hear the word of God. Amen. Ready to receive what God has for you tonight. Amen. 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 How many of you know that God is an everyday God? Amen. 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 Not just on Sundays, but every day. Yes. Praise God. He is so good to us. The uh, title of my message tonight is Determination for Manifestation. Amen. Amen. Now, um, I'm planning on teaching tonight, <laughs> and uh, I have questioned God <laughs> why I end up teaching so strong and hard and loud and and I, because I'm a quiet person, and I'm <laughs> soft-spoken, and there's other people that are loud-spoken, and, and, and Bonnie, and, and she'll get up here, and, and she'll teach real softly, and, and I'm like, God, what are, I guess he's got a sense of humor, I don't know. <laughs> but then I read a couple of scriptures for my teaching, and I didn't say that they spoke with a loud voice. So I said, well, thank you, God, that popped out to me, so... <laughs> Praise God. Anyway, we're going to start out soft, and we don't know how we might end up. <laughs> Praise God anyway. Determination for manifestation. And I'm going to begin uh, tonight with uh, the word, the prophecy that came to Jerry Savelle for 2016. Amen. And we're all going to receive this. This Amen. is for the body of Christ. Amen. And if you're born again, you are the body of Christ. And so Amen. this word of prophecy belongs to you. Amen. It says extraordinary things are taking place in the heavenlies, and 2016 will become will come to be known as the year of the great breaking loose. More and more notable miracles will break loose in the earth. More and more signs and wonders. More and more angelic visitations. More and more instant healings. More and more deliverances from demonic activity and more and more finances will break loose so that my people can do more for the kingdom, saith the Lord. And during this time of the uh, great breaking loose, the enemy will no longer be able to hold back that which my faithful ones have stood in faith for. Not even the things that looked as though they would never come to pass. For I will cause them to break loose. Hallelujah. And to suddenly, Hallelujah. everybody say suddenly. suddenly. And to suddenly manifest and to do so in such a way that no one will be able to deny the greatness of your God. Hallelujah. Yes, 2016 will be a year in which the faithful shall be rewarded beyond their highest expectations. And they shall abound in blessings. They shall abound in my blessings as never before. Praise God. Amen. So are you ready for the great break? Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. And so tonight I'm going to minister uh, on the determination for manifestation. Now, um, I'm preaching to the choir tonight. You know, this is uh, what I'm teaching on tonight. It's something that it, uh, we have to work on a daily basis uh -huh. because new things come up all the time. And so, you know, when, when you think you've got it, you know, when you think you have arrived and you know all there is to know, Amen. no. Amen. No. Amen. 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 And so we're all shooting for the stars tonight. Amen. In other words, we're, we're uh, uh, attaining God's highest and best yes. by the Word of God being taught to us. Uh -huh. That is our desire, that we learn to get God's highest and best for our lives. Yes. Amen? Yes. And so we're pressing toward the mark yes. for the calling of the high, uh, high calling of God. Amen? Amen. Amen? And so that's where we're all at tonight. Amen? Amen. But I want to speak to you tonight about God wants to show you His glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the glory of God is God's presence and His power and manifestation. So we're going to be determined to stand until we receive 
the manifestation of what we are believing God for. Amen. 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 Now, let me just say this. We all have needs. Amen. Everybody in this yes. church tonight has a need. Amen. Now, we don't all have the same needs. We all have different needs. But God, Amen. Yeah. Whatever that need is tonight, Amen. The glory of God will come in, Amen. And His presence and His power will move on that the faith that you have, Amen. The faith that you have for the manifestation. Amen. Let's turn to Luke chapter five. Yeah. Uh, amen. amen. Now the scriptures I'm going to be reading. A, a lot of scriptures tonight, and all of these actually pertain to healing. But this can be, this is for anything that you have need of tonight, yes, whether it be a financial need or whether it be a, a, a need of restoration, a need of healing, a, whatever that need might be tonight. Uh, a need for a job, whatever it is that you have need of, that you're believing God for, the, the same principles apply to whatever your need is tonight. So Luke chapter 5, starting with verse 17. It says, And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors and the law and of the law sitting by, which were come out of, the, of every city of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal. The power of the Lord was present to heal. Wow. That's mighty, isn't it? Amen. The power of the Lord was present to heal. It was there. Amen. The power was there. Wow. Amen? Amen. Verse 18 says, And behold, men brought in a bed, a man which was taken with a palsy. And they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went upon the top, the, the housetop, and let him down through the tiling with, with his couch into the mess before Jesus. Verse 20. And when he saw their faith. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> when Jesus saw their faith. He said unto him. Man thy sins are forgiven. Or you are healed. Uh -huh. And I hold no sin against you. Amen. Amen. Yes. But notice that it said. That Jesus saw their faith. I want you to know tonight that Jesus sees our faith. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now this man had a need, didn't he? He was a, uh, he had the palsy he could not even uh, do for himself that he had to be carried around and so he had a great need, didn't he? Amen? Amen. But Jesus did not respond to the man's need. It didn't say, I see your need, so I'm going to heal you. I see your need, so I'm going to do this for you. No, he said, I saw his faith. I saw his faith. So Jesus does not respond to our need. That's not what moves him. All of us, as I said, we all have a need tonight. Every one of us in this church tonight has a need. Amen. But Jesus is not going to respond to us because of our need. Amen. He's going to respond to us when we touch Him with our faith. Amen. When we reach Him with our faith. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. When He sees our faith. Yes. Glory to God. Now God cares about our needs. He's touched with the feelings of our infirmities. He cares for our needs. Amen? Amen? But God responds by our faith. Glory to God. Another example. A woman with the issue of blood. Turn over to Luke chapter 8. Glory to God. Somebody say glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
chapter 8, beginning with verse 43. Now, as I said, I'm not preaching this as I, I have arrived, because this when I think I've arrived, I find out some things. I still have growing pains. I still have growing room. I still have things to learn. We're all there, amen? amen. We're all tempted to fall into fear, worry, doubt, unbelief. But this is why we have to stay in the Word. Amen. Faith comes by hearing. Yes. Doesn't have come by having heard. That's right. Now I heard, you know, I heard this word uh, two years ago. <laughs> Amen. No, it comes by having heard, by hearing and by hearing. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. By hearing and by hearing. So we have to hear it over and over and over because it has to get into our spirit. Amen. It has to become a part of us before we can have faith to walk in it. Amen. 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 Luke 8, 43. <laughs> says, And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her issue of blood staunched. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude thronged thee. And press thee, and saith thou, who touched me? And Jesus said, somebody has touched me. Amen. For I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And he perceived that virtue had gone out of him. One translation says, uh, who put a demand on my ability. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Somebody Amen. with faith. Amen. Somebody that was looking to me. Uh -huh. Somebody that believed. Somebody that made a demand on yes. my ability. Amen. See, God already had the ability. Right. He's already got the ability. But right. we have to put a demand on it. Yes. God, I won't take anything left. Amen. I will not Anything left, I am determined. I'm going to receive the manifestation of my need. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I told you you didn't know. I might not stay quiet, but it's your fault. I'm going to blame it on you because you're growing by the Spirit. Amen. Amen. You're growing. You're wanting to know what God is going to do for me. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Jesus says, somebody has touched me, for I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. We're going to see more immediate manifestations. Amen. 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 And verse 48, And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith, yes. glory to God, there it is, yes. thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. Amen. It wasn't her need. It wasn't because she had been sick for so long. It wasn't because she had such a great need. It was because of her faith. Yes. Amen. 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 Her faith drew that healing out of Jesus. That virtue. God says, I know that somebody touched me, and it was somebody with faith. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Let's turn to John chapter 11. Are you getting something? Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. John uh, 11 and verse 40. This is talking about when Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. Verse 40 says, Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee, 
that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. So we will see the manifestation of the glory of God. Amen? Amen. There is something when the glory of God shows up. Amen? You're going to see something. Hallelujah. You're going to see the manifestation of His glory. Hallelujah. Now let's turn down, go down to chapter 43. It says, And when He thus had spoken, this is what made me feel good about being loud. He cried with a loud voice. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank he you. said, Lazarus, come forth. Mm -hmm. That is that authority, isn't it? Yes, yes. it is. Uh, come forth. Yes. He wasn't just saying, Lazarus, come forth. He was saying it with authority. Yes. Lazarus, come forth. Amen. So and so, be healed. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. And verse 44 says, And he was dead. He that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with gray clothes. And he, his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto them, Loose him and let him go. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus would say to you tonight, Lose her and let her go. Lose him and let him go. Amen. Lose them and let them go. Hallelujah. God's manifested power. God's manifested glory. Hallelujah. He can raise the dead. If you got a situation that looks dead tonight, amen, Jesus knows how to resurrect that situation. Hallelujah. Glory. Let's turn to Acts chapter 14. Starting with verse 8. Said, and there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him, and perceiving, yeah. perceiving yeah. that he had faith. Amen. Yeah. He perceived. That this man had faith yes. to be healed. Hallelujah. He had he perceived he had faith to be healed. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Glory, thank you. So you can Jesus can feel faith. He can feel that virtue being pulled out of him, that faith being pulled out of him. Your faith can be seen. He sees your faith. Yes. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're building up our faith tonight. Amen. 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 We're building it up. We're getting ready for the manifestation of God's glory. Yes. We're getting ready for God's glory to show up on the scene. Yes. And every situation that you might be going through. Amen. He's not limited tonight. No, He's unlimited. He's all powerful. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn to Psalm 78. Psalm 78. Now this is talking about the children of Israel. <coughs> Verse uh, 40. <laughs> says, How oft did they provoke him in the wilderness and grieve him in the desert? And let's go back up to 17 now. Verse 17, same chapter. How did they provoke him to anger? How did they provoke him? Verse 17. It says, And they sinned yet more against him by provoking the Most High in the wilderness. And they tempted God in their heart 
by saying, by asking me for their lust. Yea, they spake against God. You mean they were asking for me and that was speaking against God? But this is what they said. Can God? <laughs> this is what provoked God. Can God furnish a table in the wilderness? Can God do this? Can God do that? Amen. Every time they had a need, they questioned God. Can God do this? Now how many times do we do that? So I, I, it, just today I learned that I had provoked God and I didn't even know it. Amen. Honest to goodness, it's the truth. Pastor was confessing Sunday about how he was speaking against the, the city. Well, there was, there's been something that we've had need of in this church or for this church for a long time. And I got frustrated with it. <laughs> you know? Have you ever been there? Amen. I'm like, you know, let this be done already. <laughs> and so, it had been brought up to pray about in intercession. And I was so glad. But I have to say that my attitude was was stinking. <laughs> it was. I might not have said it. Thank God I had enough sense not to say anything. But I was thinking it. God, we have been needing this and praying for this and, and all this for so long. And we have done this and we have done that to try to, to fix this situation. And it just ain't got fixed yet. I was doing just like the children of Israel. I was murmuring and I was complaining and I was frustrated. And I was saying, God. That's why I said, we think we've arrived. But then God will shine his light on his word and say, wait a minute. But thank God he's merciful yes. and he's kind Amen. and he's good Amen. and he's loving. Amen. 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 To show us the right way uh -huh. and tell us when we're down to just get back up. Amen. Dust off your face right. and keep going. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all go there. So when we fail and fall short of the glory of God, just get back up. Amen. Just keep Amen. on keeping on. Yes. Just keep on going. Amen. Don't let it keep you down. Don't let it get you uh, down in the dumps. Don't let it get you discouraged where you think, well, I might as well just forget it. Amen. You know, I'm not like a pastor. <laughs> I'm not like brother so-and-so or sister so-and-so. They are so way up there. No, they might not tell all of their stuff. Amen. It's the truth. Amen. We're all in the same boat. Amen. 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 We're all pressing for that mark. Amen. We're all fighting the same enemy. Amen. And we all go through struggles. Amen. Amen. And the enemy really wants to take our faith away from us. Amen. So that's why we've got to get in the Word daily. That's why we've got to hear the word and hear the word and hear the word. Amen. Amen. So our faith will be built up. So that, we, I mean, it's just like exercising. Now, I'm really uh, one to even talk on exercising, but, you know, that's a good example. Amen. If you don't, if you quit exercising, then you're going to lose muscle. Yeah. You're going to lose that great physique. <laughs> Amen. And so when we quit hearing the word of God, yes. we're going to lose faith. Amen. So we've got to press forward. Amen. Got to stay in the word of God. Amen. Got to stay built up. When we've got to build each other up. Amen. Because the enemy will say, you're the only one. 
You ain't got no faith and you're the only one. Everybody else is way up there. <laughs> no. We're all in a boat together. We're all paddling upstream in a downstream world. <laughs> Amen. So we're all in, in this together and we just got to keep building each other up. Amen. We just got to keep reminding each other of the Word of God. Amen. Just keep encouraging each other in the Word of God. Amen. Don't lose your faith, brother. Don't lose your faith, sister. Amen. Amen. Remember what the Word of God says. Amen. He shall supply all your needs. Amen. Amen. By Jesus' stripes you are healed. Amen. Hallelujah. God's mercies are renewed every day. Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I'm going to end with this scripture. Mark 11. I know y'all are very familiar with this. Mark 11. Verse 22. No. Yeah. Start with verse 22. So it said, Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. Woo! That's so simple, isn't it? Have faith in God. So simple, but so big. Amen. For verily I say unto thee, that whosoever shall say, You mean we got to say something? Yeah. Amen. Hmm. I want brother, brother pastor to to pray for me. And I don't want to have to say nothing. That whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith, there's that word again, which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Hallelujah. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when we pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Amen. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I want Sanctuary tonight. We go home and and uh, be fired up. Amen. Be excited. Be expecting. Amen. I'm expecting. I'm just excited yeah. what God's going to do. Amen. Amen. This situation that the devil has tormented me with, has kept me awake at night with, has told me over and over that uh, nothing good's going to come. I'm expecting God to do something. Amen. 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 I've got my faith out that God is going to turn this situation around. Amen. I've got my faith out that God is going to meet my needs. Amen. I've got my faith out that God is going to save my loved one. Amen. Amen. I've got my faith out that my loved one's going to be delivered. Amen. I've got my faith out that my marriage is going to turn around. Amen. I've got my faith out that my children are going to come back to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Glory
ago about just saying, if you can't say nothing else, say glory to God. Amen? Amen. I know uh, Wanda, uh, when she was going through a, a very trying time, she blessed me so much by, uh, she, when I would ask her about the situation, she would say, all is well. <laughs> all is well. That's all I ever heard uh -huh. her say. No matter what report she got, she would say, all is well. Amen. Amen. So you can get something from positive from the Word of God. Yeah. Amen. And you can yeah. say that. Yeah. Now the enemy's going to try to get you to say what you see. Or say what you feel. Or say what you hear. But when you use the Word of God, you know, Jesus defeated the enemy with the Word. Amen. See, he, the devil is an idiot. Yes, he is. <laughs> he even tempted Jesus. What an idiot. Yes. Yes, he is. So if he tempted Jesus, don't you know he's going to tempt you too? Amen. Amen. He's going to try to get you to say something that does not go along with the Word of God. But Jesus always says, it is written. Yes. So if the enemy says, you're going under, it is written, I am victorious. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe the manifested power of God is
That that you do believe in God. Virtue went out. It's gone out. Amen. And the manifested glory of God is on you. To break us. To break us. To break us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.